Now, Major Garrett. It's quite a lead-in, Mr. President. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Rick Leggett, who is the head of the NSA task force on Edward Snowden, told 60 Minutes that it was, quote, worth having a conversation about granting Edward Snowden amnesty. To what degree, sir, were you pleased that he floated this trial balloon, and under what circumstances would you consider either a plea agreement or amnesty for Edward Snowden? And what do you say to Americans, sir, who, after possibly being alerted to Judge Leon's decision earlier this week, reading the panel recommendations, believe Edward Snowden set in motion something that is proper and just in this country about the scope of surveillance and should not be considered by this government a criminal. Um, I've got to be careful here, Major, because uh, Mr. Snowden is under indictment. He's been charged with, uh, uh, with crimes, and that's the province of the Attorney General and uh, ultimately uh, a judge and a jury. So. Uh, I, I can't weigh in specifically on this case at this point. I, I'll, I'll make, I'll try to see if I can get at the, the spirit of the question, even if I can't uh, uh, talk uh, about the specifics. Um, I've said before, and I, I believe that this is an important conversation that we needed to have. Uh, I've also said before that the way in which these disclosures happened have been uh, have been damaging to the United States uh, and damaging to our intelligence capabilities. And um, I think that there was a way for us to have this conversation without that damage. Uh, I'll give you just one specific example. The, the, the fact of the matter is that the United States, for all our warts, is a country that abides by rule of law, that cares deeply about privacy, that cares about civil liberties, that cares about our Constitution. And as a consequence of these disclosures, we've got countries who actually do the things that Mr. Snowden says he's worried about very explicitly, engaging in surveillance of their own citizens, targeting political dissidents, targeting and suppressing the press. Uh, who somehow uh, are able to sit on the sidelines and act as if it's the United States that uh, has problems when it comes to surveillance and intelligence operations. And that's a pretty distorted view of what's going on out there. So, uh, so I think that uh, as important and as necessary as this debate has been, uh, it, it is also important to keep in mind that uh, this has done unnecessary damage to U.S. intelligence capabilities and uh, uh, U.S. diplomacy. Um, but I will leave it up to the courts and the Attorney General uh, to weigh in publicly on the specifics of Mr. Snowden's case. But, sir, if I could follow up, Mr. Leggett is setting this in motion, at least raising this as a topic of conversation. You, sir, would, there, there, I'm certain, be consulted if there was ever going to be a conversation I think, about I, I amnesty think, or a plea bargain with Edward Snowden. I think that's true, Major, and I guess what I'm saying is uh, there's... You rule it out forever that you would never consider it? What I'm saying is, is that there's a difference between Mr. Leggett saying something and the President of the United States saying something. I'm trying to get it either, sir. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs>